<laughs> we made it, people. We're here. <laughs> Thanks for hanging on and believing. Oh, Thank I'm you. Feeling a little stabby. <laughs> we kept the faith. Thanks so much. It's a good night for frequent brownies. <laughs> so, you know, there's really only a handful of things you can make on tax day. <laughs> And brownies is one of them. <laughs> brownies is one of them. <laughs> well, you know, the other night my husband said to me, I really feel like chocolate cake. And I went, oh, I think I can make you some black bean brownies. <laughs> and 30 minutes later, he had them. So I thought, you know, I cannot believe I haven't made these on the show. I guess I need to. I can tell everyone firsthand that I had one of Debriana's black bean brownies. And... I fooled my children and I didn't tell them they were black bean brownies. They thought they're you so can't good. Not tell. No. So, my, so friend, good. I, my friend Donna is running the um, the Georgia O'Keeffe um, retreat up there uh, at her Abiquiu Ranch, you know, where you can go and stay for a week. And there's writers that are coming. Uh, this I think they're there this week. And so I volunteered to make something and i thought oh gluten-free brownies because they are gluten-free everybody's got it everybody loves them and it will satisfy people who may be gluten-free so and that's why i'm making them <laughs> and the protein from the black beans delish it's delish so yeah and they're super fast like you can make them in literally they'll take five minutes which might be good since the show is late tonight <laughs> I don't know what happened. It just kept telling me your past, your, you've expired. <laughs> we are having a rainy, rare rainy day in Santa Fe today. It's cold. It's, it's rainy. Cold. We had to protect all the vegetables. Lisa's wearing a parka. <laughs> I'm wearing a parka. I was freezing. I was walking my dog in the in the park, and it was cold and rainy. So, for God's sake. <laughs> This is time for brownies. <laughs> it's time for brownies. And these brownies are so good. And my, we were having this discussion the other day about um, guilty pleasures. Like, I, don't, I think we were watching the um, Fran, Leibowitz. Fran Leibowitz series. If you haven't seen it, the one about New York, it's really good. Yeah. In the last episode, she's like, I don't have guilty pleasures. I'm having pleasure. Why should I feel guilty about it? <laughs> She's so funny when she talks about it. And so um, I was like, these are guilt-free brownies? No, these the are delicious brownies. Enjoy them. There's <laughs> no reason to live life with guilt. No, no. So look, organic black bean brownies. Here, you start with organic black beans. These have been already rinsed. So this okay. is just a 15 ounce can. This is a little over 15 ounces, but that's okay. So the black beans have been rinsed. Okay. And I'm going to make the entire thing in a blender. See how easy it is, people? It's so easy. Yeah, it's super, super, super easy. So I turned the oven on 350. Okay. And I have a parchment lined paper of, of nine by nine pan you can make these in an eight by eight pan they're just they'd just be a little thicker than these um and i lined it you can just um spray it with uh coconut spray if you want or grease it i um put the parchment in it because i'm going to want to take them out of the pans and give them to the people at the conference uh -oh. Beans. your Beans. video was interrupted you might not be online we're not sure no it's on it said it, okay. it looks it's like it's going. <laughs> it's oh my god, what? 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 It's cursed today. I was <laughs> feeling stabby. <laughs> I was feeling stabby over the Supreme Court today. I started out stabby and now I'm getting stabbier. There's something oh. in the astrology or the ethers that it's just a frustrating time. It is with communication. And people, and I, you know, it's been a tough day. David has his thing. I'm eating chocolate chips. David, you're, are you having, are you having a uh, limoncello? What are you having? Yeah, let's just call that kombucha. <laughs> I'm having kombucha.
kombucha right now. I'm trying this new it's one. Called kombucha. Better booch. I don't, it's pretty good. It's having better bourbon. Better, bo better <laughs> bourbon. <laughs> okay. So here was the other thing that happened today. I went to the nursery and I found this plant. This is chocolate mint. First of all, it's beautiful. It's variegated leaves. It's gorgeous. And it smells so good that it's I want to so use pretty. it in the brownies. It's so pretty. And chocolate and mint, it's a match made in heaven. It is. It's just, I'm going to make a batch without the, the mint. And I'm going to make a batch with the mint. Okay. And then we'll decide. Okay, okay. so... In my baby copper pan that I love so much, oh. I melted a third of a cup of coconut oil. Okay. And that is going in here with the beans. Okay. I'm just going to let that run in there. Okay, then I'm going to do a quarter of a cup of honey. But I think I'm going to do the little trick. Oh, whoever said I need you, we need you guys. That is so sweet. Thanks for saying that. And um, someone else is asking chocolate mint plants. Are you kidding? No, we're oh, not. It's I'm real. Not kidding. It's and it's gorgeous, isn't it? There is a chocolate mint varietal. Go to your nursery, your local nursery. They'll probably have one for you. Mm -hmm. mm. That's creamed honey. It's delicious. Oh, I love cream honey. Okay, so Debriana did her trick where she puts Look. the coconut oil in the measuring cup. And the honey runs right out. This changed my life. This <laughs> hack changed my life for the last I'm year. So <laughs> okay. okay, now here's the other uh, thing. I, I got you one, Lise. This is the magic. I love this. Debriana improves my life daily. Debriana is a good friend. <laughs> the brown sugar bucket. Okay, it snaps shut really hard, and this gets soaked in water, and it puts enough moisture in here in the in the surrounding air that you always have soft brown sugar. <laughs> it's the best. It is the best. <laughs> One quarter of a cup. So a quarter of a cup each of honey and brown sugar how much honey did you put in quarter quarter of a cup a quarter quarter okay quarter 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 yeah okay. okay um okay honey sugar oil beans okay now we're just gonna whiz them up in the blender i think i did it oh no wrong, wrong side you have to get this thing exactly right or no girls. No. Someone's saying <laughs> what? Is Debriana filling the brown sugar bucket with brownies for Lisa? <laughs> no. <laughs> I wish I were the recipient of the brownies, but they are going to a friend of hers for the Georgia O'Keefe Museum event at Ghost Ranch. Okay. You want to make sure you blend the beans really well because you don't want to have you want to have a really smooth batter. You don't want any beans in your brownie. No. So I'm eating them really good. <laughs> so that's pretty well blended. Okay. And then I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. Okay. I'm uh, sure this is. I'm sure this is Peggy. She's saying excellent measuring this evening. Yes, I would thank agree. You, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, I like to add coffee with my chocolate. So this is a teaspoon of espresso powder mm. going in. Yum. This is. I always have um, a very nice espresso powder around. It's really Just good. For to have. It like this. <laughs> Someone okay. says, can you use a Cuisinart? I think you could. Yes. Yeah, you, you could. Um, this is, I, you know, this is a small amount of, of beans. So it depends on your Cuisinart. You probably want to use a little one. I don't know. It just, if you can get it really well blended, that's the whole point is you really want the whole thing really smooth. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Good cocoa powder, people. This is super good cocoa powder. It's worth very the dark. Investment. It's worth it's worth the investment. Dark. Dark. 
<laughs> dark, dark, dark chocolate. Okay, so I'm gonna use. Someone, someone's like chocolate and caffeine. No sleeping tonight. Well, that's true. <laughs> that would be true, but I'm not eating these tonight. It's for the writers. <laughs> they are going to the writers group, and this the writers will need it at the Georgia O'Keeffe retreat. <laughs> <laughs> they will need this. I will make a second batch and take a picture and use the chocolate mint and we'll eat them during the day. <laughs> okay, so cocoa powder. Um, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of um, gluten-free flour. Now you can leave this out, but I like to add it. Um, so you it, can leave it out if you want. You can leave it out. Okay. I like flour, um, flour farm for this. Okay. It's really important if you're going to use gluten-free flour to look at the ingredients with which the gluten-free flour is made. This is a great baking one. I like their brand, Flour Farm. It's an organic brand. And this is what's in it. Sweet rice flour, brown rice flour, tapioca, almond, and coconut flour. So those are all delicious things that you might want to eat in a baked good. Sometimes they're made with um, garbanzo beans and stuff like, you know, you have to read the ingredients on the gluten-free flour. No xanthan gum in it. Mm -hmm. well, well, oftentimes you need that for baking. But this is not, doesn't have it in it. It's just these this blend. And I, I really like it, so I'm going to add it. So um, you, make your, you make a flourless chocolate cake, don't you? Um, yeah. Why? And so it doesn't always have that in it. So when you do that, does that like almond flour or what do you do? Uh, yes, I've used almond flour. I have a bunch of different recipes. Sometimes you, you don't really even need it in this. I mean, you can make it without. Okay. Okay, vanilla salt. I'm using vanilla salt because that's what I make. But you can use just regular vanilla. I mean, um, regular salt. And I have um, vanilla that I make. So I'm going to use that um, tea, uh, teaspoon. Like that it's going in. This is the one that I make. Look at all the vanilla beans in it. Wow, that is intense. Vanilla e. That is intense. <laughs> yes, it is very intense. But it um, makes a difference. Baking powder, half a teaspoon. Going in. And I think did I get everything? Salt, powder, yeah. And then we're gonna add the chocolate chips later. Okay, so we're gonna blend this up again. So no eggs? Oh yes, I'll put the eggs in after. Okay. I'm gonna blend, blend this first and make sure everything's really. I want the beans to be blended. Yeah. Okay, now I'll add the eggs. And that's two, two, two eggs in one, two eggs. Now I um, am going to add walnuts to my brownies because I think walnuts and brownies are fabulous. So good, so good. You do not have to add them. And I'm going to add a cup of chocolate chips. I'm gonna add half of them to the mix, to the batter and then half on the top, but I'm going to add the, to get the eggs in there first. Okay, so here's another tippy tippy thing. We learned this from Panina when we were doing a shoot. Oh my God, this thing. This is an awesome tool to, to get everything out of your blender. <laughs> It's Which is so right hard to do. Thing. It's the right shape thing. It's amazing. It changes your whole life, people. That's a gorgeous thing. All right. Uh, I'm going to add in here a half a cup of nuts. These are really whole, so I'm, I'm going to throw them in and let the blender do its thing. So you don't mind if they get a little chopped up, but you don't want to get them pulverized. Right. Someone well, saying, yeah. Where did you, yeah. Someone's saying, where did you find said tool? Uh, online, uh, Amazon. Look, this is what I'm using for chocolate chips. Mmm. Yum. 
and they're big. They're big fatties. I oh, I like them. the big ones. Yeah, I love them. So I'm adding a half a cup in here. Okay. Ish. Well, I, I just have to finish the package up. <laughs> and then I'm going to run the blender just to get everything all mixed, but not for very long because I don't want to, um, you know, mush the nuts completely. That's it. <laughs> that was like half a second. <laughs> yeah. And but it's mixed. They're mixed through. Oh my god, that's the kind of batter I like to eat by itself. I know. So Watching good. a really good old movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I sent you the picture yesterday. I said to David, I can't believe Lisa knew the, the movie. <laughs> I I saw, you know, I've been posting all the aprons that I've been making. Oh, the labels came today, by the way. Oh, are they great? Do you oh, like they're them? awesome. David's going to go get them. Okay, so oh. I'm watching TMC, the movie channel, and on comes Mildred Pierce, which is a fabulous film. One and of my favorites. It's the only one, one my that Joan Crawford won an Oscar for. That's right. And she's standing there in this polka dot dress that's exactly the same fabric that I made the aprons out of. So, so she I'm, takes a picture of herself and sends it to me with Joe Crawford. <laughs> and Lisa's like, Mildred Pierce. <laughs> it was so funny. Okay, here's the here's Okay, the here label. are the labels. David's got the labels. See if They're so cute. There. Oh, those are great! Handmade by Devriana Mancini for Corona Kitchen. Oh, with a little chicken! <laughs> that's oh, so that's so perfect. So I'll put them in the ap the aprons tomorrow, and I'll get them out to everybody who gets them. Um, All those people who donated the mega bucks to our uh, campaign get are okay, getting so the brownies are in the pan. And then I'm going to, where's my, where's the rest of it? Okay, there. I'm going to sprinkle the remaining half a cup of nuts, I mean of um, chocolate chips on the top. Okay, that, oh, that looks so good. Yeah. And that's it. They go in um, the oven for about 25 minutes at 350. I checked them at 20. You, it depends, you know, you know your oven. It's 25 to 30 minutes-ish. I check them at 20 because you just want them to be pulling away from the edge. You don't and want to overcook. You don't want to overcook the brownies. You don't want to overbake these. People do that. Yeah. So, that's the story. Someone says, what do you need to donate for brownies? Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess we should have thought of that, but we didn't. <laughs> you can make these yourself, although it would be whoever saying that would be really nice to see you in person. And yeah, perhaps. we're almost there. <laughs> we had an idea. We're thinking later when the weather gets really warm here and we were all eating, dining outside, that we could have a garden party for a show with. Corona Kitchen and be all together and cook the meal and just hang out. Yeah, have a mm -hmm. meal together because we are fully vaccinated. <laughs> we can actually we can actually cook together now, Debriana. We really don't have to do it this way. <laughs> we can now change our whole modality. <laughs> so exciting! And things are things are changing. That's for sure. So. I know my youngest just got his first vaccine on Saturday and it was so exciting. And, I, and he's 15, Seamus. So, you know, let me just tell you, not one symptom. Oh my gosh, that's great. What did he get? He got the Pfizer. That's what the 11 to 15 year olds can only get the Pfizer. But um, I'm like, yay. Yeah, whatever. So, so you're, you're a mixed race family. <laughs> we are it's all we're all different mm -hmm. that's awesome oh yay well i will um i won't be able to post a picture of these right away because they're they're gifting but um i will make the second batch and i'll post that and i think i will use my mint 
So when you use your mint, how much will you put in? And will you Well, I think I'm going to chop, chop about a tablespoon and I'm going to make sure it's finely chopped. Yeah. Because you're not, you know, I mean, you don't want to eat a piece of... <laughs> I bet that'll be really good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think I'll probably use about a tablespoon. Okay. Yeah. Yes, cooking together does sound fun, and we will do it because all we're all dealing with garden and outside now and all the wonderful fruits and vegetables of summer, so it's going to so be fun. Really, really fun. Well, thanks for hanging out with us tonight, you guys. That was a, a bit of a ride, but we are happy to have you. Um, it is time, people. You need to be involved because, holy cow, things are happening fast, and we need to be involved politically. I don't know how we're going to deal with the Supreme Court, but I'm sure there's going to be things happening. So we need to pass voting rights legislation. That is imperative. So get involved with whoever you can get involved with. And because um, the midterms are not that far away. And if you're, you know, following what's happening today um, in Mississippi uh, with, you know, women's uh, reproductive rights, a lot of us have been fighting for this for a really long time. It's the same old shite. Yeah, the, there are there are generations of people that do not know what we grew up with. Coat hangers and back alleys and women bleeding to death and it's not it's not good. We don't want to go back there. When it all comes down to it uh, a woman must have autonomy of her body. That is the, that is the bottom line. So yeah. you know, yeah. it affects everything. So yeah. Do what you can, and we will. Uh, we're going to check in with Holly and see if um, if she'll be with us tomorrow, and we'll let you know. And we <laughs> might be at her new store, perhaps. Yeah, she just opened a storefront. Yeah, we'll let's open a store. <laughs> we might be going on a field trip. Who knows? You never know. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. Wear your mask if you need to. Hey, I didn't get a cold all year, so. I, I like my mask. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Be good to one another. Yeah.